Welcome along guys, well it's day two of the BMW Motorrad Greece adventure. Absolutely loving it. It is just about eight o'clock in the morning. The sun has literally just risen. Everyone's ready. Everyone's loading up the bikes. We are ready for another fantastic day of riding. Where's that sunshine? Can't wait. We all ready guys? Yeah. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit early. <laughs> and we're off, 10 past eight. We're leaving early because there, there's a lot of riding to do today. This guy's trying to keep this dog out of here. He, he does not like motorcycles. He's a wild dog. <laughs> he's, he's not a happy bunny. Oh, look at that sun coming up. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And just to think it's wet, cold, back in the UK right now. And I'm out in this. Oh. What a lucky bugger. I was speaking to Nigel last night, who's, who's done tours all over the place. I mean, he, he's, done, he's been everywhere, basically. He says the riding here is as good as he's seen anywhere in the world. It seems to have a, a mix of everything. And uh, yeah, I'm so pleased I decided to try this Greek trip. So pleased. And that was my, that was my conclusion from yesterday. I mean, I've been to a few places, but not you know, not, not, not masses of places, but I even thought this was the best riding I've ever done here. It's incredible. You don't think of Greece really as a, as a motorcycling riding destination, or I guess I didn't anyway, but it really is. And I think the fact it's taken this long to get a tour for Greece onto the Motorrad planner just shows that, you know, it isn't thought of as, as the motorcycling mecca. It absolutely is, so. I just can't wait to see what today has in store. And not only have you got fantastic roads and countryside, quiet roads, the weather, you've also got Greek history thrown in as well. It really has got everything. Look at that for a view. Hopefully you, you, could, you could see that with the 360 camera. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Out on the bikes, weather like this. Oh. It's unbelievable. Absolutely beautiful. It's time for a bit of skinny dipping. Look at that. Wow. This is when you want to come away, when the weather's turned at home. It's cold. It's dark. It's filthy. That is when you want to come away and do one of these tours like this. Go somewhere warm and enjoy some warm biking again. Almost don't have to say anything on this tour, it's just let the scenery do the talking and the 360 camera do the talking. It just fantastic shots, I hope. <laughs> What else is there to say? Just wow. Look at the views up there. Look at those mountains. Wow. I'm hopefully going to be doing a few more of these tours with BMW Motorrad and I think we'll have to have a way of rating them. And I think we're ha it'll have to be the wow factor. So every time you say wow at the scenery, it gets counted. So each trip will have a wow factor of, probably this one's gonna be like 256, a wow factor <laughs> of 256. Let's see what it makes compared to other tours. Oh, so, yep. You're okay, we won't move, you're okay. <laughs> well, what's this rock? We're climbing up into the mountains now. This is where we go to the mountains. 19 degrees down at sea level. Let's see what the temperature does when we get up there. I think about 4,000 feet climb now. Olive, anyone? 
Look at this. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's got a wow. Another wow. I think incredible, amazing, wow, counts as the same thing. That counts as a wow point. Such a varied, it's varied riding. That's what I'm liking about it so far. It's not just all big, perfectly tarmac roads. You know, there's a real variety of roads around Greece. These tight, twisting, mountainous roads. Fantastic, sweeping, coastal roads. And the surfaces aren't too bad. They're all pretty decent. Going up, up, up. We're getting high now. Wow. What does that say? No idea. It's all Greek to me. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm just headed down that mountain now. I mean, just coming to this small town. It's absolutely stunning views again. Absolutely. Incredible views, and I think the plan is here to perhaps stop and get some coffee. Coffee break. It is quarter ten, and I must say, a coffee would go down rather well at this point. Tapina Bazros. Do you sell coffee, sir? Sorry, we're not stopping. One slight criticism of Nigel, he, he, he doesn't stop at very good coffee shops. <laughs> Uh, looks like we are stopping here. Oh, oh no. are we stopping, Nige? Nige, are we stopping? Are we stopping for coffee? Nige, coffee! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. No idea where we are. No idea where we stopped. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Nice bit of coffee, I think, to start the morning. Look at that. It's not too shabby, is it? <laughs> not too shabby at all. Coffee and lots of it. So there we go, lovely bit of coffee there, lovely drop of coffee. I don't think the Greek are renowned for their coffee. <laughs> we had a pretty shoddy coffee yesterday, but that one was actually not too bad. That wasn't too bad, that coffee, very nice. Just what I needed, just to wake you up in time for some more twisties. Now we're heading down to a town called Midlas, apparently, and I think we're gonna be going through Sparta to get there. So we come down, I think we go up a little bit more yet, we climb a little bit more now, then we go down, and then we hit Sparta, I believe, to ride through it. There's not a great deal in Sparta, really, so we're not actually stopping. But uh, you've got to go to Sparta, haven't you? You've got to see where those Spartans originated from. I mean, this whole area is, is Spartan country. You see some of these mountain ranges in a minute, you could just imagine leagues of Spartans up on top of the mountains. <laughs> Absolutely incredible around here. It's just got that history. Amazing. But let's do it down this mountain range now. Let's catch some more amazing views. Look at this little road, quite gnarly this one. Really, you know, just out in the sticks. Absolutely out in the sticks this. Real exploring here, real explorer country this. 
well this is this is what it's about for me absolutely beautiful right into the woods now right into the forest I'm surprised these roads are as well maintained as they are because these aren't main routes and it's not bad at all is it absolutely incredible right, coming down now down we've, we've I think we've climbed now climbed to the peak now on our way down probably going to join up with a faster more main sweeping road when we get down I suspect here but it looks like we've got a lot of twisties yet to come oh that's the, that's the view you want on your sat nav isn't it twist after twist after twist yeah we're joining in this looks like we're coming into a town now uh, can't see the name Vovora Vovora again apologies for my atrocious pronunciation Hercules would be spinning in his grave <laughs> it's only quarter to 11 in the morning and already we've had been jam-packed with fantastic roads today already not even 11 o'clock yet stand up a bit again look at the views over there Look at this, incredible, absolutely incredible. We're just heading down on the E961 to Mistras still and I think we're going to be coming into Sparta soon but I just had to put the camera on because look at that vista in the background there the Insta 360 batteries have run out so I just had to pop the, the GoPro on but look at that for a backdrop incredible look at that look at that view I've got to say it again wow wowzers so this is actually Sparty or Sp Sparta, as it used to be called, <laughs> Sparty. Sorry, I mean, there's, not, there's not much here, but this is where the Spartans used to, where they come from, this is their town. It's, we're not stopping here because there's really not to see much to see, it's just a, a, a town, you know, Sparta Inn. But this is Sparta, I and mean, look at the mountain range behind Sparta. I know they used to send their children up into the mountain when they become of age to survive, didn't they? And you know, such a an incredible people, a warring people. But uh, yeah, well, this is it. This is Sparta. I am Spartacus. There is a museum here, but I think it's a case of if you go in the museum, you're going to be in there for two or three hours. Which we, uh, you, I mean, again, if you wanted to do that, you could do that. It's entirely up to you, but uh, this isn't so much a, a sightseeing tour as a riding tour. So we will just make do with uh, a quick trip through the town centre. See that ruin up there? You probably won't see it on the GoPro. There's a ruin right on the top of that mountain there. I think that could be where we're heading. Perhaps an old ruin up there. No, it's like an old castle of some description Mistra, this is Mistra this is Mistra this is where we're stopping at 11.25 it's now 22 degrees the temperature is starting to climb as are we because I think we're heading up there oh amazing ladies and gentlemen this is the ancient Byzantine city of Nistra. So I park here because it's the best view of the whole complex. Mm -hmm. Might change, but yeah, I quite like, I like that FJR thing. I just like it. Not off bad, is it? But there's a <laughs> castles at the top there, so we're going to walk up. I'm not sure people are going to do it. 
look at that. Wow, look at the view behind. <laughs> The battlements, well we're still not right to the top yet, but just over there, I mean look, must be able to see people coming for hundreds of miles away. It was sacked this one, Nigel, wasn't it? Sort of, it was sacked a few times, and then they moved the town down into the little village we came uh, from. Oh, okay. Stress. And everyone then decamped from here and went into the town. Went so into the town. Deserted. So that's Sparta, just in the distance there. No, no, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to get used to be talking to myself, I'm afraid, Nigel. And then they're the mountains we came through this morning. But it's, it's absolutely incredible. Wow. <laughs> absolutely wow. And just look at what we've got coming up here. Look at this. It's incredible. What a place to ride a motorcycle. And this is just the paved stuff. Imagine if you were throwing in some dirt tracks as well. It's a wee wee break. It's a wee wee break. Look at this bit of road. This is fucking, this is a wow again. Hey, that time's up. Wow, look at the, look at the, oh, look at it up there. It's absolutely amazing scenery around here. Anyways, 10 tons. <laughs>